Today I went to a Super Bowl party. It was actually my very first experience with American football altogether, so I needed some help understanding the game. For those who don't know, American football is sort of like Canadian football, but different. The objective of the game is to score points by advancing the ball into the opposing team's end zone. The winner is the team with the most points when the time expires. Or anyway, that's the gist. People at Super Bowl parties are really into snacks. To give you some idea, 8 million pounds of guacamole is consumed every Super Bowl Sunday. That's a lot of guacamole for just one nation. So I really hope that everyone paces themselves today. Super Bowl 44 will be the first Super Bowl ever to be broadcast exclusively digital, on account of the US analog switch-off that occurred on June 12, 2009. Of course, smart people made the transition to digital long before that date. You know who's really smart? Saints quarterback Drew Brees. I heard he won a Socrates Award at Purdue for being the top academic collegiate athlete. Also, he's allergic to gluten. I wonder what that's like. Most Americans take Super Bowl adverts very seriously. As a result, a single 30-second spot costs $3 million. That means that advertisers this year are paying $100,000 a second, which is $100 a millisecond, or 10 cents per thousand nanoseconds. And most of these commercials aren't even that funny. Did you know that 57% of American adults said they plan to watch the Super Bowl just for the commercials? That's weird. When it comes to the Super Bowl, I guess everybody wins, which is why each member of the team that actually does win gets paid $83,000, while each member of the team that loses gets $42,000. Still, that's a lot of money for a loser. You could buy your own jersey 525 times at the NFL store for that kind of money, or 15,000 boxes of Kleenex for the bus ride home, or what's about 28,000 avocados? I wonder how many pounds of guacamole that makes. $42,000 to buy you 84 iPads, or 531 4 gigabyte iPod shuffles, 1400 hours of massage in Chinatown, 72 Yorkshire Terriers, or 8400 pints at the pub. Although I wouldn't offer one to Drew Brees, because his gluten allergy prevents him from consuming grain-based alcohols. Or even, what about- Bye, Jen. Bye. See you guys. See you. So what'd you think of your first Super Bowl? It's over? Thanks for having me, I had a really fun time. Yeah, no problem. It was the best Super Bowl ever. If you asked me, I couldn't tell you who won or lost, but I frankly don't see how it's relevant. People who get hung up on things like that just don't understand what football's all about.